receive your instructions, obey my commands, protect yourself all times. Good luck, ladies. Let's go. Well, it's been so long coming for this proud fighting nation, the return of their proud fighting hero. The arena drowning in passion, building over the last half an hour or so ahead of this showdown between two undisputed world champions. So Katie Taylor is home again for the first time in her professional career in what many have termed the biggest test of her professional career. So far, I like the... the composure that Katie Taylor is showing in round one. Mike, these early moments are very important in the fight. These early exchanges are very important. These early rounds are very important. Andy Lee alongside me and also the undisputed super featherweight world champion Alicia, Alicia Baumgartner down here at ringside where the atmosphere is so vibrant as we expected. And Ross Enemate in the corner during the introductions just pointed to his head to say to Katie Taylor, just hold on to your composure. Cameron going to work close up. Jamie Moore said during fight week, this is a contest that will be won and lost on the inside. Good throw from Katie Taylor. That's what we like to see. We like the combinations from Katie Taylor. Those are very effective for her against Cameron. Good job from Cameron. She's very heavy with that job. Katie looking for the counter hook. Good one two from Katie Taylor. Catching Cameron on the way in. Good pressure from Cameron. Walk and walk on the ropes. Good. Good left hook from Cameron. Superb attack from Cameron at the end of this opening round. Good right hand over top. This is serious pressure. Unrelenting pressure from Cameron. Well, Taylor needed to be reassured that she won that round, at least in the opinion of Ross Enemy, her trainer, as Cameron once again goes on the front foot. And any wonder that she might be overwhelmed by the occasion during fight week and on fight night, dispelled in that opening couple of minutes. Good head movement off the road from Katie. Great turn. I would love to see Katie throw some feints in there, you know? If she's not throwing her jab, use those feints, use those legs. Good hook off the rose from Katie. Good jab on Taylor and jab from Katie Taylor. It was a strong body shot, though, left hand to the body from Cameron that went through as well. She's landing that Great one, too. Great body shot from Katie Taylor. Cameron Good right. behind the jab. Good Great right hand from Katie Taylor. Taylor. Great right hand from Katie Taylor there. Set it up behind the jab. Nice start of her movement. Sorry, sorry, Lisa. Nice start of her movement from Katie. Moving ahead. Bounce the hands landing first from Katie Taylor. Good hook to the body from Cameron. This is a back and forth fight. Mike, I said these early rounds are so important. In a 10 2 minute round fight, whoever gets her lead is very hard to claw it back. Another good left hook in the corner there from Taylor. I would like to see Katie back in the middle of the ring. I feel like she's more comfortable there, not on the rope, so too many punches being thrown by Cameron. This is a better round for Katie. For Katie Taylor. Twice in particular, the right hand, left hook combination worked well. For the woman who tonight is attempting to become undisputed champion in a second weight division. Taylor now, where Alicia wanted her, in the centre of the ring, trying to dominate from there. 
Right hand over the jab from Katie Taylor. The back comes Cameron with a one two of her own. Different hook from Katie, blocked partially, blocked by Cameron. Looking for her own hook to the body and head. Good jab, good sharp jab. There listen to the ovation from the crowd, but Cameron knew that would happen. Susan trying to block and counter, Kaylee, trying to block catch and counter, but catching too many shots. Good jab from Cameron. Good right hand too, she needs to get on her toes, Kaylee Taylor, box and move. Use her jump, use her speed. Good shot. Hook right hand and finish up with a jab from Kelly Taylor. Cameron going back in a straight line. I would like to see Katie throw that jab right after those combinations just to keep Cameron afar. So she's not able to come in like that. from Cameron as Taylor opens up once again. Great instructions from Katie's corner. I would love to see Katie go to the body to slow Cameron down. A neighbor of the opinion that it's 2-1 to Katie. Alicia, how are you seeing it? I have it 2-1. To Cameron. To Cameron, yes. I think so too. She's just out working Katie a little bit up here. The pressure. A solid heavy jab. Katie decided to use a passive defense and she's catching all these jabs in the face. Good counter right hand from Katie. Having made Cameron miss with the jab. Oh. Cameron undeterred goes on the front foot once again, lands a solid right hand. Good uppercut on the inside from Cameron. Good variety of punches from Cameron. Katie needs to get on her toes a little bit. Get on her toes. Move to her right. She can't just stand there with a heavier, younger, bigger woman. Good shot to the body from Katie Taylor. And a right hand. Back and forth action here, Mike. Tremendous action. Katie needs to find her rhythm so she can get back on her feet using that jab, doubling over the jab to keep Cameron outside. Cameron's too comfortable right there, standing that close to Katie. You're right. This is Cameron's fight. It's not Katie Taylor's fight. This is not how she likes the fight. She should be boxing on the toes, using her speed, her side steps, her check hooks. She's actually fighting Cameron's fight here. And this is all playing into Cameron's hands. Katie Just over can't... 20 seconds to go in the fourth round. Katie can't depend on the one punch. We need her combinations working. The hair has come loose from the braid of Katie Taylor. They're going to need to take care of that in the corner. And that's just an indication of the kind of shots she's been taking so far over the course of the first four rounds. Into the fifth we go. Undisputed World Super Lightweight Championship over the ten-round distance. And Cameron, once again, on the front foot. That jab that's been so effective so far. She looks very comfortable at the moment. Can't shout out Cameron. Walking Katie Taylor down, taking good, the shots on the gloves. Good combination from Katie Taylor. Yeah, good blows from Katie. On a good side step check hook. Every success for Taylor, passionately roared by the crowd. I wonder how that's going to influence these judges, Mike. Good work to the body. Cameron, and a good right hand to the head. They didn't take care of that back, that braid in the corner. That's going to definitely affect Katie's vision, and she lands a 1-2, Cameron. Good work on the ropes here. Katie's in trouble here. Good left hook from Cameron on the inside. Cameron working away to the body, just as she was asked to do by Jamie Moore in the corner ahead of this round. Good Great one, two, from Katie. Good response. We can't be satisfied with the one, two, though. We need those combinations. We need that jab working for Katie. These are feints. The sidestep is good. 
The resolute response is everything we'd expect from Katie Taylor, who had a torrid fifth round against Amanda Serrano at Madison Square Garden last year, now fires back with a right hand off the ropes. This is immense pressure from Cameron here, walking Katie down, hooks, uppercuts. Timing is everything, I think Katie's able to do that, catch Cameron coming in. So much at stake here tonight for Katie Taylor. As we move into the second half of this contest, on her first appearance as a pro in her native Ireland, Cameron so confident so far. The Taylor corner saying, it doesn't have to be exciting. She did land a single left hook and a single right hand nothing towards from, the end of that. Nothing from Katie. Round. Alicia scorecard has Cameron leading by three rounds. Four rounds to one on Alicia's card. But that was at ringside. I've got every round so far to Cameron. Brilliant response from Taylor. Katie needed that. She took some big shots early in this round, by right hand and especially left hook to the body, but she comes back well. I would like to see Katie work in there, go to the body, slow Cameron down. Good body shot. It's Cameron who's landing in the body shots, Alicia. Good hook up to from Katie. Great body shot from Cameron. Toe to toe action here, back and forth. And this is the fighting spirit that has made Katie Taylor the champion she is. Brilliant uppercut from Cameron. And listen to the response of every success for Taylor. Last come from Katie Taylor. Mixing his tacks downstairs and upstairs. Good hook inside from Cameron. They're standing toe to toe, Mike. This could be in a phone box. One, two, hook. Great finish by Katie Taylor. Here in round number deep. six. She's digging deep. And the reaction of Conor McGregor replicated all around this three arena here in Dublin for the return of Katie Taylor back home to where she had so many successes in the amateur ranks for oh. the first time as a pro. Good right hand from Cameron. Lovely work from Cameron. I think they've underestimated the, the, the speed of Cameron's feet. She's well able to close the distance here. That's why Katie's not having success on the back foot. I agree. That's why Katie's finding it hard to box off. Katie might just have to stand her ground here and dig in. Cameron's very quick closing this. You can see she's got a little hop in her step, a little bounce, and she's scooting in. Good right hand. Good left hook from Cameron. Katie needs to reply, needs an answer. Good right hand again. It's all one way traffic in this round so far. Solid, repeated successes for Cameron. There's a good body shot from Taylor. But back comes Cameron with maybe an even stronger shot to the body. And when they landed then simultaneously with jabs, it looked as though Cameron came off best. Oh, right, left, right hand held out, brought her into the left hook. Noticeable that that was the first roar of the round for Taylor. Big round for Cameron, this. In a female fight, it's very hard to claw it back. Taylor on the onslaught at the beginning of this day, eighth round. Three rounds to go, and there was much talk during the week 
about what would happen if the fight goes to the judges' scorecards. Concern in the Cameron camp, described as nonsense by Katie Taylor. I think Katie might need all three of these last rounds. Definitely these last rounds. I need to put her, put her punches together. She's countering well off the ropes. Good left hooks to the body and head from Katie Taylor. But back comes Cameron. She has to keep... The right hand from Taylor bouncing off the ropes. There's an urgency here from Taylor, maybe sensing that she needs these last three rounds. Halfway stage of the eighth. Needs to faint. Good overcut from Cameron. Beautiful shot. Okay, he's using that experience holding her after the punches. Chin up in the air, Katie gets caught, but comes back with two shots. Great combination from Katie Taylor, right down the middle. Starting to swelling on the right eye of Cameron. I think it's from those left hooks. Great punches. There through with the right hand and then the left hook and Cameron comes straight. Round nine. Into the last two rounds then and these two women now will have to dig and go to places where few sports women have to go here. Katie needs a big finish to this fight. I think she needs these last two rounds. She definitely needs these last two rounds. Finish strong, dig deep here. She's and been here before. Exactly how Alicia has got it. Cameron leading by two rounds with two to go. Picking her shot so well, Cameron. Her jabs, her jabs, a fainting jab. And then the one, two, and then the right hand is always coming behind. Switching to the body, switching to the head. There's those trademark fast hands from Katie Taylor, but she needs to move her head after she punches. You can't just sit there. Long left overcut from the right hand of Cameron. We need more from that from Katie. We need her off the ropes. This is where Jamie Moore, Cameron's trainer, said the fight would be won and lost. And they're applauding here next to us in the Great Cameron corner. Great from Cameron. But what else would we expect but a response like that from Katie Taylor? She needs to move her head when she punches. She's having success, but she's just sitting there too long. Strong uppercuts inside from Cameron. Good throw from Katie Taylor. Tremendous exchange once again at the end of the round. The bell about to sound. Well, you can see in the backdrop, they're standing all around this arena. And we saw that memorable 10th round at Madison Square Garden last year between Taylor and Serrano. And will we get a repeat here? Taylor in her quest to become a two-way, undisputed world champion. Just over a minute to go then, we're approaching the halfway stage and more success for Cameron.
good That's combinations better. from Taylor. She moved her head off the line after she landed a shot. That's better. Better from Taylor. Cameron desperately working away on the inside. Inside the final 40 seconds. The upper Take back is through once Take again. Up But the flurry from Katie and the cheers from the crowd might be swaying these surges. Look at this toe to toe action. 20 seconds left. And the crowd again getting behind their hero for one last surge. Last few seconds of the 10th and final round. And just as we expected, a furious exchange. Right on the Cameron. Dublin, Ireland. Let's show our appreciation out here for both of these fighters. After 10 rounds of action here at the Three Arena, we go to the judges' scorecards. Raul Caiz Jr., 95-95 even. Craig Metcalf and Patrick Morley both score this bout 96 to 94. For your winner, by majority decision. And still, the undisputed super lightweight champion of the world, Chantel Il Capone.